and disturbing news in the wake of the terror attacks in Yemen. The Washington Post reporting the Pentagon has lost track of more than 500 million in military aid given to the nation. And Defense One Marcus Y. Skerber joins us. Marcus, okay, $500 million in U.S. aids and weaponry. How did we lose track of all this? Well, basically what happens is when a foreign country buys weapons from the United States, the, the, um, the Pentagon approves it, and then they send the weapons over. What happens then is that they do training. But once that training's done, they pretty much leave it to the country that, that is responsible, in this case Yemen, where the government's falling apart. Marcus, we've heard the president say before just a couple months ago that Yemen was one of the greatest success stories in the war on terror. And now we're seeing some of these reports. Uh, you just heard Mohammed talking about uh, one of the most deadly explosions. I mean, bodies everywhere. And we've seen this happen before where the United States gives aid and gives weaponry and then we lose track of it. So any idea who could have all of these deadly weapons? Well, pretty much anyone could have, could have it at this point, and there's a lot of bad people in that part of the world right now. The one thing, this is, this is really embarrassing. If you recall, several months ago, we saw U.S. Uh, Humvees and tanks controlled by ISIS in Iraq. Now, they were given to the Iraqi military, and ISIS subsequently captured them. And now, again, we have another black eye, I guess, for the uh, administration in this case with weapons they've given to another country. Now, Marcus, is there any way to track that equipment? No, th this is this is pretty basic type equipment. This this is not you know sens sensitive classified type stuff. This is this is guns, helicopters, uh, hum Humvees, body armor. Uh, it doesn't have tracking like devices on it. And who is this supposed to go to initially? I mean, why would the administration be giving this aid? I think a lot of people are saying Yemen not necessarily known as being a safe place, even though the president said it's a success story. So why did we give so much money in the first place? Well, basically what we want is the, the, the big, big uh, push by this administration and plenty of other administrations is building, building the partnership capacity of foreign militaries, essentially getting a bond with the military, uh, training them, giving them equipment so they could stand up on their own and, and alleviate some of the uh, types of operations that the U.S. military would help them with. Well, let's hope that it doesn't end up in the wrong hands because the worst thing would be have it end up in, in the wrong hands and then possibly be used against our allies or worse if we decide to uh, put U.S. troops on the ground. Marcus, thank you. Thank you.